Hey everybody, MTG Orzo here with another EDH Commander game. Uh, we are playing Karanos, the God of the Storms, versus uh, Magic Online, deciding whether or not it wants to let me play. We have Animar Soul of Elements as our opponent. I'm gonna keep this hand. I'm gonna keep the mono counterspell five land hand, and we're going to take it to the promised land. We're gonna draw into something great. That's going to look 100% calculated, and our opponent's not going to know what to do. He's not going to know what hit him. It's a pretty good matchup for Animar, uh, or for us versus Animar, because we we can always get around him. Um, Animar looks real bad when he keeps getting bolted by Karanos. So if we can put him in that position, and then maybe resolve like a Cyclonic Rift or a Jockal Hops or one of its you know companions, oh, we draw another land then we're going to be sitting pretty. Play land, hold up counter spell. Probably not going to counter anything that's not named Animar. Uh, Bloom Tender is pretty good, but I, I think I think Bloom Tender would resolve. If you went turn to Bloom Tender, I'd rather, I'm ra I'd rather him do that than go into Animar. Um, truth, be truth be told. This was a, this was a greedy keep, I understand. Um, I'm not unwise to the fact that we are playing mono counter spells. Uh, Cascade bluffs past the turn. This is good because now if he goes turn three Animar, we have dismiss draw a card for his turn four play, which seems really good. It also leads us into having enough mana for Pact of Negation. We really just kind of got there. The chain was perfect. Somewhere in those turns, we we resolve a Karanos. Um, but you know we'll cross that bridge later. He's going to untap, windmill slam his land, and play Animar into three open blue mana. He's going to wonder, how did this happen to me? How did we get here? Boop. Sorry, bud. All right. Now that we've irrevocably shattered his tempo, what can we do? Suffocating Blast seems very good in this matchup. I'm just gonna sit back and have every single piece of land that I will, every single counterspell that <laughs> in this deck, and he might just concede to that. It's the deck isn't a counterspell deck; it's a control deck that happens to have, a, you know, a counterspell suite, and we've drawn running lands and counterspells. That's all we've got. Wood Elves is fine. Wood Elves means we really got him next turn with Suffocating Blast. Because that means um, we counter Animar, kill Wood Elves. And it just looks super, super calculated. Goblin Electromancer is good, right? That means we can... A Goblin, Goblin Electromancer is a good magic card right now. Uh, make blue red because now we can hold up suffocating blast and dismiss I guess pact of negation does not cost negative one it still costs zero and we still have to pay five at the beginning of the upkeep which is relevant but if he wants to go land animar we two for one him and he concedes the game which I mean sometimes you gotta win like Sure. I just have to outlast you. I mean, if he's got a flask creature, we look like an idiot. But he does not get on the board. Pass the turn. We're very close to casting a Karanos and being able to hold up a counter spell. We need eight mana for that. It's five and three. It's a factor fiction. Oh, he did have the Venser, but he just didn't want to... He didn't want to burn it. Um... I could pack that. Hmm... What do I want to do about that? So I don't want him to resolve an Animar, but I don't want him to bounce my Electromancer. This is bad. If I had played this, I'd been able to keep both up. Yeah, that's... 
And we have packed. I mean, it can resolve. It's fine. It's 100% fine. Because now we just have a better target for Suffocating Blast, and we still have enough mana. It's not like this was holding on to it. If we had played Shiv and Reef, then we fight over this, because then we could hold up all of our mana. But we have little reason to right now. We'll take three here. What do you got? Animar, sorry. Not your day, bud. Uh, this spell, this thing, pay one. One more. Yeah. So, two for one, again. And he's just... I, f I feel pretty good about that. Ah, did you hear that? I feel pretty good about it. Chandra Flamecaller, huh? How good is Chandra Flamecaller? Cost six mana. I have seven. And if you play something really crazy, we have Pact of Negation. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. Um, Chandra. But do I do I make dudes and get aggro, or do I just do I just go burning? Uh, I'd rather. Actually, it just beat in for six. This Wood Elves is not bothering me. Hold on! <laughs> oh, I gotta sneeze. Oh, I'm so sorry. Smash the face. And then play Shiv and Reef. And have Pact of Negation, just in case. Like, there, there aren't a lot of spells that I would pack of negation on this board. I'll know them when I see them. I I'd probably pack a Consecrated Sphinx. Um, I don't know, Eureka? I'd probably counter a Eureka. But I don't know. We'll see. I think we've done a good job at just controlling this. Um... No, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. Ah, uh, he did find the land. That's neat. Yeah. You're good. Yeah, that's that's okay. Riftwing Cloudskate. Okay. Three counters on that. He's gonna get in for one on Chandra. Or not, and then we can minus four. And I don't hate that play, Dak Faden. Because if you would hit this and I minus four, then I couldn't survive, but now I get to keep my Chandra. What was your what was your master plan? Um I don't know. Lost the time. Make blue red. Cast Goblin Electromancer. And I need three mana to uh I need, I can hold up three mana for a dismiss, or I can play attack Faden. Uh, I'd rather just hold up dismiss. Yeah. He has no pressure going on us right now, and we have eight power every turn. I'm gonna smash on that's a three turn clock. Like Rift Riftwing Cloudscape probably gets countered whenever it comes down, because I know it, I know it's going to happen. I mean this this deck, it's hard to win with this deck. Um you actually have to sort of get in there. You the the game could be over well before you win the game. Um Karanos might actually become a creature this game. Because you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah. That's a creature. That does make him easier to deal with. He has a 6, 5, though. Do not play Animar. Just don't do it. Like, Okay, we talked about we talked about that one. We talked about wanting to counter a Consecrated Sphinx. 
So that's what we're gonna do. Sorry, bud. Draw a card. Land is land is not terrible. Um, draw spell pierce. Spell pierce seems pretty bad actually. Make some elementals. Spell players, I imagine, doesn't have a lot of great targets in this matchup. Um, attack with all creatures, please. Swing for eight. He goes to thirteen. That's not a lot of life points, bud. End combat. I think we just. I think we just play Karanos. Bluff. Because the next turn we can cast Dakfen and animate him and swing in for game. Because that'll be eight. That'll be 14. Okay. So. We have Spell Pierce and Pact of Negation to protect this little retarded plan. But I think we can get there. He's got six cards in hand, but none of his cards have done anything. Not to say none of his cards will do anything, but historically speaking, none of his cards have done anything. Blood Boozle. But my Chandra. I don't pack that, do I? He could cascade into like nothing. Um. I mean, I don't want your haste guy. We'll, we'll cascade. We'll pack the blood raid elf. Okay, what'd you get? Nothing good, I hope. Rapid hybridization. Okay, yeah. That actually just makes his clock way worse. Cool. Alright. That was fun. For me.